Hello friends, today in this video I am going to show you a lithium battery tester module. It is very useful for testing any lithium battery's capacity. When you buy a new battery, in most case battery capacity does not match as mentioned by the seller. It is also useful for old batteries to know the capacity of any single cell of a battery pack. We cannot measure the proper capacity of lithium batteries by measuring only voltage. So I will test some lithium batteries and show you how it works and how much is it accurate. The package comes with the main module, two 7.5 ohms resistors and some screws. The module has a 4 digit display, 3 buttons, OK, plus and minus. The terminal connector are for the load resistors and battery positive and negative input. Micro USB for powering the module, otherwise you can connect 5 volt on the back side. It has 3 LED indicators. It is HW586 version 3 port, same as the ZB2LC module. You can connect a lithium battery up to 15 volts and load up to 3 amperes. If you connect over 15 volts and a 3 ampere load, it will show some error code on the LCD. So it has over voltage protection. In my opinion, it is good for a single 3.7 volt lithium battery because when the battery is in series you cannot measure the proper capacity of a single cell so you have to test a single battery to find which battery is weak i am going to test it with this 3.7 volt 2200 milliampere new battery and a battery from an old laptop battery pack both batteries are fully charged before the test you must have to fully charge the battery you can use this type of battery charging module TP4056 for charging. It can charge a single battery connecting two R points with load registers. I am using two registers parallelly. You can use also a single register but it will take more time to discharge the battery. Now I am connecting a lithium battery to battery input points. You have to connect carefully positive and negative points. Registers may be very hot when the battery discharge. So I am using a small aluminium plate as a heat sink. Now the connection is ready but this battery not delivering any power to the module. It is only for testing. I have to put a different power source for the module on micro USB. I am using my power bank. This power bank has an auto off function so I am using a small circuit to avoid auto off. If you are facing a problem with the power bank auto off problem, you can check this circuit making video. The link is in the description. You can use any 5 volt charger for power or any other 5 volt power source. You can see it is showing the battery voltage but the test is not started. You can set the maximum discharge voltage manually up to 12 volts using the plus and minus buttons. Otherwise, just press the OK button, it automatically detects the battery minimum discharge voltage and starts the testing process. When it is testing mode, the LCD shows the battery voltage, the ampere load and the battery capacity randomly. It will discharge battery voltage to 2.5 volts and after that it will automatically stop the testing process. After 1 hour and 15 minutes later, it is showing 1.022 ampere which is too different written on battery. We can say just half of the mentioned battery capacity but it is a new battery. Now I am going to test this old used laptop battery. 
and it is showing only 0.464 ampere for accuracy testing i have measured voltage the module shows 3.83 and the meter reading is 3.823 so it is almost accurate i have also tried to calibrate it but unfortunately the calibration did not work for this module i hope I have shared some important information about the battery tester module. Thank you for watching. See you soon.